And time now for another check of your forecast. So Brad, we've made it to September, but yeah. this summer heat is still pretty <laughs> persistent. So any chance we could get a cool down here? Yeah, you know, I'm always this time of year, I'm always looking for that cold front down the road. There's just no sign of a really significant cool down. I would just take, you know, lower humidity. We haven't seen much of that lately either. The dew points were sky high today. Kind of felt like July more so than September. We've had some pretty good downpours developing this evening, especially in northern Mecklenburg County uh, near Uptown, then moving into Cabarrus County. Good uh, cluster now developing around Mooresville, the land is there in the southwest corner of Rowan County. This will be a trend we'll see overnight. Even after sunset, we're likely going to see some persistent showers developing. Nothing severe. Flash flooding is honestly the biggest concern because there's just so much tropical moisture moving into the southeast. You see the flash flood risk got a, a high risk here for parts of Georgia and uh, into Tennessee and Alabama. We've got a medium risk for the western part of the Carolinas with a low risk for us. We will see the risk for flash flooding primarily be the issue the next couple of days. So for Labor Day tomorrow, I know a lot of folks have outdoor activities. This is probably going to be the wettest day of the three day holiday weekend, so you just got to have a backup plan. Scattered storms possible, especially in the afternoon and evening hours, but we could even wake up to a few showers in the morning and because of the clouds and showers, temperatures will be a little bit lower. It won't necessarily feel cooler because it'll still be muggy. It's just that we won't see as much sunshine, so you see the chance of rain, especially around lunchtime and after between 40 and 50%. So if you got a, a cookout going on, you got to have a backup plan or a tent or some way to get some shelter. You can see the low pressure system to our west just pumping in this hot, humid air. So anything that develops can kind of tap into that, that moisture and really produce some heavy rain. This, the atmosphere is essentially a saturated sponge right now, so it's taking very little to squeeze out some of the moisture. You see tomorrow morning could have some heavy rain to the west. Flash flood concern definitely there with any of these that get anchored, what we call it basically on the mountains. And then during the day tomorrow, a scattered shower thunderstorm possible into the afternoon looks a little drier on Tuesday, but then the afternoon hours we should see another uh, round of scattered showers and thunderstorms. So looking at the rain chances next couple of days, pretty good chance you're going to see a shower even during the week. The rain chances will stay elevated as we stay in the kind of this soupy atmosphere out in the tropics. Two systems hurricane uh, Danielle there well defined eye that's moving in the North Atlantic and there's Earl, which could become a major hurricane in the next couple of days. There's the latest advisory on Danielle. No threat to land, though the remnants might eventually affect Europe. They could use some rain in parts of the British Isles. And then there's Earl making a turn to the north. Good news for us and Bermuda. It looks like it should recurve out the sea, but look at that wind. Could be around 120, 130 mile an hour hurricane by the time we get into the middle of next week. So tomorrow for Labor Day, happy Labor Day, everybody. Make sure you have a backup plan for outdoor activities because I do expect a, a scattered shower thunderstorm at any point during the day. Pretty warm couple of days to start the week as well. Temperatures will try to cool down by next weekend, but the rainy pattern sticks around.